Hello, so this is chapter four um, for business and technical writing, achieving a readable style. Keys to readable paragraphs. Begin each paragraph with a topic sentence that summarizes the content to come. Include only information relevant to the topic sentence. Place sentences in a logical order and avoid long paragraphs. So keys to a readable style. Your reader's knowledge of the subject, um, your reader's expectation about style, your reader's reading level, your readings, reader's reading content, your relationship with your reader, professional roles of you and your reader. Um, so keys to readable sentences. Select your level of language, adjust the density of information, avoid long sentences, keep subjects and verbs close together, write squeaky clean rows, Avoid pompous language. Avoid excessive use of is, are verb forms. Use active voice for clarity. Use short, concrete words for tone. Keys for two readable words. Avoid using longer words when shorter ones will do the job. Eliminate dead phrases, words that add nothing to the meaning of the sentence. Avoid words that sound knowledgeable without being specific. Avoid redundant phrases. Avoid businesses jargon. Tips and reminders. Um, avoid specialized terms if possible. Use company style sheets and templates. Keep subjects and verbs close. Write to express, not impress. Um, use a conversational style. Strive for conciseness. Conciseness does not equal brevity, though. Style, the bad and the good. A low verb word ratio per sentence. Excessive is our verbs. Abstract nor nouns. Many prepositional phrases, few clauses, high verb word ratio of sentences, concrete verbs, concrete nouns, few prepositional -pre phrases, um, linked causes. The bad and the good continued. Passive voice, um, separation of keywords, long grambling sentences, main idea of sentences difficult to find, sentences must be read several times. Active voice, subject verb, um, actor, action, relationship is clear, specific, precise sentences, meaning easy to find and process, meaning emerges after one um, reading. So this is just talking about tools, about what is plain language and format and stuff like that. So this is just kind of more examples of that. And then, hey, yeah, so that's it for that.